So in the last video we talked about um, arithmetic operations on binary numbers and in this video we're going to talk about signed BCD and uh, arithmetic operations on signed BSD, BCD. So the first thing uh, you need to remember about BCD is that it's really a base 10 uh, representation of a number. You know, each set of fields, for example, say we had 32. Each set of fields can only represent 9. So it's in reality, BCD is really base 10, but it's a binary representation of base 10. So in order to represent sine BSD, or BCD, we're going to be using tens complement form, or tens complement system, which is similar to twos complement system, but we're going to be using the twos complement of the BCD numbers. So tens complement system, and we're going to be using tens complement instead of twos. So I'm just going to do an example to kind of walk you through how tens complement system works. So let's do like we had in the last example. Let's do uh, 327, right? And I want to represent this in BCD. So the first thing we need is a set of flag bits. And since uh, each BCD number has four bits, the flag has also four bits, and we need a magnitude field set. So we need three magnitude field sets because we have three digits. Right? So this is going to be our sine slash complement field. And this is going to be our magnitude. Well, like two's complement system and ten's complement system, when you have a positive number, like we have here, all the bits in the sine complement field are zero. And then it's just like regular BCD, so 0011, 0010, and then 0111. So that's equal to positive 327. All right? So like two's complement system, in the tens complement system, the hard case comes when we have a negative number. All right? So let's write our sign complement field out, and we'll do our magnitude fields. So the issue is that now we have a signed complement field. You know, you know what it what goes here? Like we don't have one bit. So in BCD since 9 is the maximum you can go, we're just going to say 1001. So the signed complement field in BCD can either be 0 or it can be 9. Okay, and now we need to type our magnitude in, but since the number has the complement field flag set, this number, 327, needs to be in tens complement form instead of twos complement form. So we'll take 327, 10 is equal to what, and tens complement. It's not too hard, so we do... So all we do is we first need to find out what that, what is 327 base 10 equal to in 10's co-complement, which we know is just 999 minus 327, so 672. And that's going to be in 10's co-complement. And to convert from 10's co-complement into 10's complement, we simply add 1 to 672. So our answer is 673 tens complement is equal to 327 um, of our 10. All right. So let's put 327 in our magnitude field now since it's in, I'm sorry, 673 in our magnitude field now since it's in tens complement form. 
So we're going to get 6, which going to be 0, 1, 1, 0, 7, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 3, 0, 0, 1, 1. And that is equal to negative 327. All right, now that we know how to represent BC numbers in signed form, let's move on to signed BCD arithmetic. Let's start out with a simple example. Let's do 10 minus 7. All right. So what do we need to do? First, let's write down 10 on the top. So we need a sign field, and we need two BCD numbers. So that's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's equal to 10, positive 10. And then let's have our negative 7 put down here. So since it's negative, we're going to set this equal to 9. That means our SC flag is set. And we're going to go through and <clears throat> find the tens complement of 7. It's a quick way to do that. We'll just take 0, 7. And so 99 minus 0, 7, 9, 2. That's going to give us our co complement. And then we're going to add 1 to get our complement. All right, we'll put 93 in this field, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. All right, so now all we have to do is add these two together to get what 10 minus 7 is equal to, since this is equal to negative 7 now. So we'll add them, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. Alright, we're looking for invalid BCD codes. We are okay here, but we need to add 6 to this because it's equal to 10, which is greater than 9. So we'll add 6, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. We get a 1 bit carryover, so we'll add 1 to this guy. 0, 1, 0, 1. And since this is invalid, we'll add 6 to this. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and we left with one bit here, which like two's complement form, we are going to throw in the trash. All right. How about we recycle? Be green. <laughs> so our answer is these sets of numbers here, because we need the same number of sets. We have three sets here you know, in the question, and we have three sets in the solution. So our answer is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And remember that this is actually the SC field, and since it's set to 0, we know that the magnitude field is equal to the answer, so that's just equal to positive 3, All right? So 10 minus 7 is 3, and that's our solution. All right, let's do one more. Like we did with two's complement, let's do another case. Let's do seven minus 10 this time. All right, so we'll start out with seven on top. So we have our sign field, and we'll have, we'll have uh, two sets of BCD fields. And we're gonna end up with uh, this one's just going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, because 7 is positive. And we're going to put 7 here. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. That's equal to positive 7. And let's do 10, which is going to be negative. So set up our fields. So 10 is going to use the SC flag set to 1, 9. And then we're going to write 10 out here. I'm sorry, we have to take the tens complement of 10. So we have to figure out 10, base 10 is equal to what in tens complement? So we do 99 minus 10, 89, and that's equal to our co complement. And then we do 89 plus 1, and we get 90, which is equal to our complement. Right? So we're going to put 90 take 90 and we're going to put it in here. So we're going to end up with 
one zero zero one zero 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 zero. Alright. So what's our answer gonna be? Our answer is gonna be add these two together. One 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 zero one zero zero one one zero zero one. So our solution we have no carryover bits this time, so we end up with uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. But we have to remember this is still in the uh, tens complement system. Right? So we have our flag field here, which is telling us that the answer is going to be negative and in complement form. So we take our magnitude. So we're going to end up with negative magnitude complement, right? So let's find the complement of this magnitude. And I think it's easier first if you first write it out, you know, negative, uh, what is this, 9, uh, 7, you know, negative 97 and tens complement. So we'll take the complement of this to end up with our solution. So let's take the complement of 97, right? So 97, 10 is equal to what in 10's complement, right? And you can think about this if you want 97, 10's complement is equal to uh, the complement of the complement, which is just uh, the answer. So we don't really have to do this. So we're going to take 97 and subtract 99 minus 97, which is 2. And that number is the co-complement. We have to add one to it to get the complement. So our answer is negative zero three base ten. This is our solution.